Hello, I'm Dr. John McDougall. I'm a medical doctor and I'm a board certified internist. I run a 10 day residential program in Santa Rosa, California, a place where people come from all over the world to regain their lost health and appearance. Welcome to the series, Star McDougallers in their own words. You're gonna really enjoy our next story about Karen, especially if you've struggled with weight loss. I wound up gaining a hundred pounds pretty much altogether and it was definitely it was definitely an issue I had no I had no energy you know I didn't feel well a lot of the time just really you know kind of lethargic because when you got that much extra weight on you you know it's hard to have energy to do anything and of course I was trying to keep up with little kids too <laughs> It was hard sometimes. I enjoyed carbohydrate food, but it was always with fat, like noodles and butter, or uh, potatoes and butter. <laughs> uh, cheese, cheese is a big favorite too. Some sort of cheese and wheat, like pizza or macaroni and cheese. Uh, some, some combination of cheese and refined wheat probably would have been some of the favorites. I went to Weight Watchers and I did lose weight and I kept it off for a while, but I was, I was always hungry and being always hungry made me want to go back to eating other things, but also I kind of had the wrong attitude toward it. It wasn't really about my health, it was about what can I get away with and not gain weight, you know, and that they always give you an inch you take a mile kind of thing and it and so after a certain amount of time I wound up gaining it all back because I was looking at it the wrong way I think well what what had happened is I had lost some weight on my own but I was still like a good 25 pounds from where I wanted to be and progress just kind of stopped and not only did the progress stop but when I went to the doctor, I still had high cholesterol. I still had high blood pressure. The doctor was threatening me with meds. And this was, of course, going to have to be for the rest of my life. And it's like, no, there's got to be another answer here. And I started researching. And that's one, one thing led to another in terms of I started out by looking for low sodium. But one thing led to another, and that's where I found the McDougall program. And I realized that I had seen that before, back in the 80s, when I was being a vegetarian. But it had seemed too extreme at the time. And now, I just had a very different attitude toward it, because I was really concerned about my health and about what to do to, you know, to really get this turned around. So I started McDougaling. And not only did I lose the last 25 pounds that where I had been stuck, but the cholesterol went way down, the blood pressure went way down, and it's like, okay, now we're in business. <laughs> Things are great. I have lots of energy. I'm very physically active all the time, which, which makes me happy too, because I just, I enjoy doing physical things. I enjoy taking aerobics class and, and walking and biking and whatever. And now I have the energy to do all that. Worst cholesterol I ever remember seeing before the doctor was threatening the meds was like 281. And my blood pressure, oh boy, that could be like, let's say 150, 150 over 95 minus might have been typical of that era. I just got the labs back. I My total cholesterol is 156. I, I think that's great. And my blood pressure taken at home is, you know, very, very moderate. Uh, let's say an average reading might be something like 112 over 69. We have a real system in our house for this, as I'm not much of a cook, and I'm not much of I'm not much for fancy recipes. 
But what I do is make up whole grains ahead of time, like brown rice or uh, uh, cashew pilaf or mix or something like that. We have boiled potatoes available all the time. We have baked sweet potatoes available all the time. And it's kind of all, all the basic components are there and they're already in the refrigerator. And then you can, and you just add, you know, your produce, you add your vegetables or your fruit or whatever to those things. And, and we're happy with that because we're happy eating basic, simple food. Well, they can, looking at me, they can see that it works. You know, uh, in my aerobics class, uh, the instructor makes a big fuss over me because of, she, because she's seen me lose it all. I actually started the class when I still had the hundred pounds to lose the, at the beginning. So she's seen the, the whole procedure. And, uh, and the rest of the people in the class that know me and everything, they can see that I'm keeping it off. And I'm sure they've seen plenty of other people uh, who lose it. And then the next thing you know, they've got it back again. And here, you know, three years down the road, I still look as trim as I did when I took it off. And, and they can see that. Your tastes change. You know, that's really the most important message about that. You, you like what you're used to eating. When you change what you eat, before long, <laughs> you like the new stuff you eat. And if you can just wait it out, you know, a, a few weeks, it will feel totally different. So, so that's about that. If, if what they're saying is, I can't manage the food, I have a really busy life, or, you know, something like that, I would say, you don't have to make complicated recipes. I don't make complicated <laughs> recipes. Just cook the food ahead on the day that you have off or whatever, and you can have... You can have your whole thing streamlined and organized for the whole week. You know, just have, have your boiled potatoes, have your cooked grains. Uh, we make these things called veggie tubs where we put raw veg mixture of raw vegetables in individual little containers so they're grab and go. You can make it as streamlined as you want, as you want it to be. And, you know, a few weeks down the road, just decide make a decision that you're going to try it for a given amount of time and if you do that your taste will change and you'll have the results you want and you'll have them quickly and you get that really good reinforcement going and and you'll just want to keep with it and I do enjoy the food yeah it's it, do, it certainly doesn't feel like a, a deprivation at this point if it ever did and I don't even really think it did in the beginning, I don't, I don't even remember that now because I was so motivated to get the cholesterol and blood pressure and everything down that may I probably would have eaten cardboard if that would have worked, you know. But I enjoy the food. I look forward to my meals. I enjoy them even though they're simple. And uh, yes, I really do think I'm going to be doing it forever. Absolutely. Notice that Karen struggled to lose weight. And she's tried all kinds of diets, from portion controlled to organized group programs such as Weight Watchers. And the problem is she could never be content with what was going on. And one of the biggest problems is these programs ask you to be hungry. And being hungry is painful. Now you'd think there ought to be a way to eat, look good, feel well, function well, age slowly. I mean, really, that's the right diet for people, don't you think? Well, if you look around the world and you look at various populations of people, you can figure that diet out. Look at populations of people and look at their physical appearance and then think about what they eat. Now, if I talk about trim, healthy, young people, what do you immediately focus upon? People from Asia, like Japan, Thailand, maybe rural China. Trim, healthy people, what do they eat? They live on rice. Have you ever been to South America? If you meet the people from Peru, they're trim, hearty, healthy, active people, and they live on potatoes. Yes, you can find other examples. For example, you can go to Papua New Guinea, and there they live on sweet potato roots and leaves. And everybody's trim. No breast cancer, colon cancer, rheumatoid arthritis, no high cholesterol, no high blood pressure like Karen had. I mean, these are healthy people. And why? Because they live on a diet of starches like rice, potatoes, corn. This is the center part of their diet. Now, when these people from Asia or from South America, when they move to the United States or Western Europe and they give up their starch, what happens? They get fat, they get heart disease, breast cancer, colon cancer, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis. Why? Because they've changed their fuel. It's really that simple. Now, if you wanna regain your lost health and appearance, 
you can do it. And you do it by changing the composition of the food on your plate. That's all you have to do. You don't have to think good thoughts. You really don't even have to exercise a lot. All you have to do is change the fuel that you eat every day. That's what Karen finally figured out. And she's told you, you know, her meals are simple. She enjoys them. This is delicious food. And what are you giving up? What are you giving up when you change your focus of your meal plan? You're giving up fighting the battle of the bulge and losing, which is what's been happening. And you give up being sick. That's a small price to pay, especially since we don't enjoy those things. Really, get on with enjoying your life. I'm Dr. John McDougall.